You can't remember, they said. You have a concussion, they said. It's a trick of your mind, they said. But I do remember. I remember very well. I remember the murder from two years ago. I remember the club. I remember the surveillance of my house. I remember that weird call from the city councilman. I remember my dismissal from the police force. And yes, I remember the assault. The harsh surface of the asphalt when they threw me from my bike. The impact and the burned smell of my skin. And the grinning voice. That fucking voice. Okay, I think she's dead. But here I am. I'm back. When I think about this fucking place, I feel bile rising in my throat. But I'm back. And I will close this case. My case. I remember. Believe me. I've not forgotten what happened here two years ago. And what it did to me. I will find out about you scumbags. And I'll destroy this shit. So, you meet here tonight? Then I will join the party. <laughs> yes. I remember. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of appropriate ages, I'm Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Hama. Now, if this is your first time or your hundredth time on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. By subscribing, you'll be notified when my videos go live daily. I cover a lot of indie demos, indie games, and great content like this for me and developers. So if you're into all things indie, you're in the right place. Smash that subscribe button right now. So what is Hama? I'm not even sure it's pronounced Hama. It could be Huma. It's different, different uh, pronunciations of it, but that's just what I'm going to call it. It's Hama. It's a deduction visual novel set in Munich. Discover a conspiracy amongst the upper echelons of society along some former detective Judith. While visual, uh, visiting real locations in comic inspired looks. It gets me every time it says visiting and visuals right next to each other. My brain doesn't really work properly, but um, it's a point and click. It's a visual novel, exploration, detective, all the things that I like and I love. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. There's a, a bouncer, there's a little patio scene over here, some sheets. Let's look at this real quick. Reads, private circle. I remember these dresses. They look like Venetian costumes. Must be their dress code. What is this? A cult? It's the damn Illuminati. I'm getting the fuck out of here. A reception area. Nobody here. I guess everybody's inside. Hmm. Huh. Everything's covered in black. <laughs> How elegant. So let's talk to this guy. I'm sorry. There's no entry into the club tonight. It's private circle. What is this club? Mm -hmm. What? You don't know? Have you been living under a rock? Everybody knows this place. Um, if everybody knows it, why can't I enter? Good question. Not tonight, miss. Every two years, there is a very special, private event. Special? What makes it so special? Mm -hmm. The guests tonight are... unique. Unique people, unique dress code, unique gathering. Unlike... you. Now piss off already! Well, he kind of went from zero to a hundred there. Uh, so we checked that. We can talk to him again, we can leave. Luckily the doorman wasn't looking. I got the cloth. I mean we could put it on. I'm sorry. There's no entry into the club tonight. It's private circle. Um, I mean we could threaten him. Oh sorry. Must have taken a wrong turn. Seems so. 
I guess we just threaten him, see what happens. I'm sorry. There's no entry into Open up. This is the police. It's a good line. Nice try. Where's your badge? Uh, threaten him more. <laughs> Distract him, tell him the truth. Um, so this also tells me he doesn't care about the truth. So let's threaten him some more. Listen, wannabe muscle man. Damn. If you don't let me in right now, I'll punch you right in your greasy face. Sure. Get it on. My backup can be here in a sec. They'll be waiting for you. Damn. I might be able to knock him out. But attracting attention is not what I need right now. I better stay off the grid. So, let's go down so, this. I we'll threaten him. Uh, let's try distracting him. find it right now. Quick, there's a danger at hand inside. Oh, that's a lame attempt. Nice try. Yeah, lame. Believe me, we have our own security inside for any problems. Thanks. I'm sorry. And we'll do it. I... Nice. Okay, okay, listen. I used to work for the police. Two years ago, I was investigating a murder that took place right here. I nearly solved the case. Then, I was thrown out and somebody even tried to remove me. I've been searching for answers for months. Honestly, I need to find out what's going on here. This night is my only chance. Something's very fishy about this event. He's like, we give a shit about this. Yes. Listen, something's fishy, all right. These people are powerful. And yes, this night is your only chance. To go away and never come back. I don't want people who ask questions. That's very true. Bye. What happens if we go over here? We're in the back alley. I think this is a statue of Minerva, goddess of warfare. This owl looks weird. Who? Hmm. This face is made out of a different material. I guess it's bronze. Who? The bronze part doesn't seem very stable. I guess it was broken and then provisionally fixed. <sighs> I can't tear off the bronze application with my bare hands. It reads, Mythological Messengers of the Gods. Traveling collection of sculptures. That seems pretty cool. Hmm. This is the House of Arts, a contemporary art museum. But also a luxurious nightclub. That's interesting. I guess all these statues must be part of their current exhibition. A little overbearing, but it fits the scene, I guess. I mean, that'd be a pretty sick place to have a club inside of a museum. Um... <laughs> What is this? A statue. It's massive. Why, thank you. Let's see. Anything else I can click on? Been there. This is going to take us back over to him, right? Okay. What is this? Is there anything I can touch on this poster? Because I didn't try that the first time. Nope, okay. Thought maybe we could, like, rip it off, like, beat him over the head with it or something. Anything else? Alright, now we'll go back over here. Check out the bike. Ah, my trusty toolbox. There we go. You never know when you need to nail something. Or somebody. I'll take my toolbox, my gloves, and the balaclava. They might be useful. So we'll go up here. This owl looks weird. Toolbox, this is Owly. Owly, meet my trusty toolbox. Oh my... Thanks for your face, Owly. Okay, I got the face application from the owl. It looks a little bit like a mask, and it's roughly the size of my head. 
I think this might come in handy. The owl did not ask for that. Hmm. Let's see. I have my biking gloves and the balaclava. I have some black cloth and a face from an owl that looks a little bit like a Venetian mask. I think this should be enough for a believable outfit. Or should it? A statue. I'm not interested in this ancient stuff, but I guess it's a statue of a god. So, check that, check that, check that, check that, check that. Nothing else in here. Can't check that statue, so... I mean, this is, this is best as it's going to get. you got to be inconspicuous. Good evening. Welcome. The gathering has already started. But you're still early enough. Lucky me. <laughs> Come in. Wow, didn't even ask any questions. That's, he's terrible at his job. Got a couple people over here we can talk to. Hmm. Most members seem busy. I'd better not disturb their gathering too much. Hmm. Um. Huh. Something's going on over there. But this guy is blocking my view. I can't see what he's doing. Uh, I think he's fiddling with some control panel. I'd better not cause any trouble and let him do his stuff for the moment. Should we go talk to these two right here real quick? Hi. Yes? Ah. Play as an acquaintance, or say you mis mistook her. Let's play as an acquaintance. I think we've met before outside. I highly doubt that. I would have remembered that terrible costume. Can't you afford something elegant, Wallflower? Wow. Shit, I'm not believable. I should be more careful with every step I take here. Hey there. Hmm. We'll be flirty. I hope this will be worth it. How are you? Isn't this a great event, Mr. <laughs> you don't really believe these people here would tell you their real names, do you? Oh, uh, <clears throat> of course not. But it's obvious that you are Mr. Magnificent. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. You got me there, man. Marvelous. <laughs> Get him drunk. Play inexperienced. Um, let's play inexperienced. I'm new to the party. It's my first time here. A virgin. How inspiring. Creepy, but okay. Asshole. Kind of. So, can you tell me who everybody is? Oh, what the fuck? Come Say. on. Are you just trying to sound me out? Me? No. Does it look like it? You look at least a little awkward. Great. From Miss Marvelous to awkward in under a minute. See you later. Hi. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm... So am I, sweetheart. So am I. She like that? Okay, let's try this again. Hmm. Uh, I don't think small talk's gonna work. I'm back. I would say it's marvelous. My pleasure. Let's get him drunk. How about a drink, handsome? A drink? Sorry, sweetie, but not for me. I had enough for the moment. Probably after the ceremony. Okay. Damn. I thought I had him. Alright, one more hey shot. There. Hmm? 30? I'm back. I would s Sorry, dude, but I have... I'm heartbroken. 
Better take care that I don't break your neck next time, Mr. Insufferable. Let's, hey, try, the, let's try the small talk. Party's okay, huh? Are you kidding? It's our most important event. Don't you have any respect for the group? That's not gonna work that way. So we've pretty much exhausted both their dialogues. Can't talk to them. We're supposed to leave them alone. Let's see what this next area looks like real quick. We can talk to the bartender, it seems. Hi. Hello. Let's ask him about the chandelier. Have you seen that grand chandelier? Isn't it amazing? It is. They bring it in here just for this occasion. I think it's in possession of the group. What's so special about the chandelier? Somebody told me it's over 600 years old. You know, some occult stuff, but it's always a mess when they install it. They use the club's stage motor, but it's nearly too heavy for them, and it always causes problems at first. But it seems to work out at the end, and by the next day, the chandelier has already disappeared. It's crazy. If they know it's not going to work as well every time, why do they keep... It doesn't make sense to me. Where is your mask, party pooper? You must be new here. I've worked here for years. I'm the only one without a costume. They must trust you very much, then. Well, I don't know much about all of this. When the ceremony begins, I need to go home anyway. Um... Ask him about the group? It's my first time here. I really like this club. Let me give you some advice. Don't ask too many questions about these people. Okay. Why? I really can't speak for this, but I believe these people are all very influential persons from the elite. They meet here in Munich every two years. Mm -hmm. I've heard they're actually the secret Bilderberg group. Honestly, that's hard to believe. And that's just what I've heard. They are freaking the Illuminati. Um, so, what's the drink of the evening? It's called Halma. And don't ask me details, I have no idea what it is. But you're the barkeeper. How? I don't mix it. They deliver it in huge canisters. I just pour it into glasses. I have no clue what it is, and honestly, I don't want to know. So, it's pronounced Halma. That's what he said. That's what I'm going to call it, Halma. Asking about the chandelier, asking more about the group. What else can you tell me about this group? I told you I'm not allowed to speak, but uh, there's a reason why they meet in this building. I know, it's crazy, but it's actually a contemporary art museum, you know? Mm-hmm. It was built by the Nazis, no. and it's probably the last remaining grand building from that era here in Munich. I think the members are all very right-wing, but you didn't hear that from me. Come on, you're joking. And that's just what I've heard. What else can you... I told you I'm not... A they have this important person they call their master. The master. I've never seen him, but from what I've heard, I think he's a vampire. Oh, come on. No way. That sounds too crazy to be true. And that's just what I've heard. What else? I told you... Did you know there's a secret tunnel connecting this building with the residence of the Bavarian Prime Ministers? It's true. I saw it myself. The Nazis built it. That's interesting. Actually, I think there's a whole system of tunnels connecting many buildings here in Munich. A few years ago, they found Nazi artifacts in there, but nobody talks about it. I think there's something very fishy going on here. No way. That sounds too crazy to be true. And that's just what I... What else can I t There's a reason why they. It was built by the. No I think. Okay, we've, ex we've exhausted that dialogue tree. Tell me again. What's so special? Somebody told. They use the. But. Alright, that's all for small talk. Thanks for the nice. <laughs> that's my profession, miss.
We're gonna order one Hama? Uh, one Hama, please. One Hama, coming up. <sighs> Tastes like very sweet milk. Weird. But I don't feel anything special. Keep on keeping the bar, barkeeper. I'll do my best. So, right, that's going to do it for our look at Hama. Uh, go download the demo for yourself. There'll be a link in the description below where you can find it on Steam. Download the demo, put it on the wish list. It's set to come out in quarter four of this year. I love these type of point-and-click exploration detective uh, games, so I definitely will be revisiting this when the full release comes out later this year. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, as always. It lets me that I'm doing a good job. Also, helps me the YouTube algorithm gets my content out there for more people to see. I'll be back at it again tomorrow with more indie games, indie demos, and great content like this from indie developers. And until then, my Illuminati friends, I'll haunt you later. <laughs>